Hey guys and girls, welcome back to yet another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links, Twitter, Discord, uh, support page. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Boom, boom, boom. We good. All right. Hope you're doing really, really good because today we're going to keep working on the stuff we talked about in the last video. So I hope you watch that because they're all kind of going hand in hand here, okay? So the um, shallow and deep copy tutorial as well as the last video the copy constructor and now the assignment operator that's all uh, important stuff okay so i hope you watch those while i'm thinking what the hell i'm gonna do <laughs> how i'm gonna proceed uh okay so here's the copy constructor. okay so now we're gonna be talking about the operate operator overloading so that is the this is the first tutorial of that now there are lots of operators okay so when you're writing c out for example this is a, I think it's called an input stream operator or output stream operator or something. And this is the input stream operator. This is obviously the plus operator, minus operator, uh, multiplication, and so on and so on and so on. Okay. And this is the assignment operator. All right. Now, I hope you followed me in the last video where I explained that when you write, I don't know why I removed this. Oh, no, I didn't remove it. When you actually create an object using this quote-unquote assignment operator uh, and you create it as a copy of another object you're not actually using the assignment operator you're using the copy constructor but when you're not creating any object you're actually just assigning uh, one object to another the right hand object to the left hand you are doing you're using the assignment operator and that's the one we're going to overload now it does exist here by default just like this does but you can't see it but if you want to op overload operators, you're going to have to do it like this. So operators, usually call them that. And there's also an operator like this. And we're going to go through all of them, okay? I'm going to explain all of them. Not in this video, but in the videos to come. Because they're all very important and really help you out when you're creating classes. And, and makes it so easy for you, okay? Especially these plus and input and output stream operators. It's really nice just to have them to debug objects and stuff. So that's, that's kind of cool. But we're going to just do the assignment operator here because it is the most important one now 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 so what you want to do uh, you want to say you want to say void operator equals because this is when we're op overloading so that's the syntax this the operator and this now you can you can actually do car here const car reference if you want to chain together uh, equals to signs because remember you you can do this like um, I equals a equals uh, D equals C you can chain these together and if you want that to be able to be possible with your class you need to do uh, the, the car thing here but I'm not going to show you that in this video right now because I'm kind of unsure about it I'm more sure about this so I'm just going to use this so const car reference object just like the copy constructor okay just like the copy constructor, easy peasy. So once we have that, I'm just gonna define this and save it and we're good to go. And then the const operator is right here. So now you're overriding C++'s default assignment operator for your class, okay? So when this happens, you're actually overriding it. So now if I call this, nothing is gonna happen since our operator is empty. It's just not going to do anything. I can say std c out l bra I ain't home. So saying that the assignment operator isn't home, obviously. So we got to do something else. So if I just run this, it's obviously going to crash. Or it's not going to do anything. l bra I ain't home. So see, you're calling it. You're calling this now. Okay, it didn't crash because it doesn't do anything. It's basically just printing that line out. But I wanted to do something, you know, I, I wanted to kind of create or a copy out of this one. But remember, we're using dynamic memory, like from the last video. I hope you watched that. We're using dynamic memory. So it's not as simple as doing name equals object. So, But I'm just going to copy this from the copy constructor because it does basically the same thing. Okay, basically the same thing. But, but since we're not creating an object, that means that the object that is uh, the receiver of this copy already has data. There's already data there, okay? 
there's already stuff that if you don't remove it, this is going to override it, but it's going to create a memory leak. Okay. So if, what well, also what we want to do is we want to make sure that if this not equals object, okay, we want to make sure it's not the same object, not in the same memory location. That's very important. Okay. That's something you really want to do when you're doing this. Okay. Uh, because if that is, that happens, if you're doing car one equals car one, doesn't make any sense. Then you don't want to use all your computer power to kind of copy over. It doesn't make any sense. So, so we're not going to do that. We're going to make sure it's not the same object it is not the same object. And then what we're going to do is clean old data, um, delete this horsepower. That's all you need to do. You need to just delete the old data that is dynamic. You don't need to delete the name because the name is not a dynamic memory. It's just static memory's name. So you can just copy it over down here. And then copy over data. Okay. You can use this check in the copy constructor as well. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Doesn't really make sense, but you can use it there. Um, so there you go. There you go. So basically we're checking if the address locations are the same. Hence why we're using this address operator here. And this is already the pointer to the current object. So its own memory location. So clear out the old data, copy over new data. New data. And this is a deep copy. And then this horsepower equals object dot horsepower uh, god damn it wrong shallow copy we're just going to comment this out because you never want this to happen okay i'm going to put the same thing here just so you guys and girls know what's going on okay so now this operator is overloaded and i'm just gonna say see out overloaded assignment operator used okay and there you go and then we're gonna use the copy constructor we're gonna say copy constructor used just to show you where the difference is copy constructor used constructor used okay that's cool uh, so there you go. Now we got our two different things. Now this is a overloaded assignment operator. Okay. Uh, operators. And I'm just going to say assignment operator. And then we're going to do the other operators down here later on. Uh, so that's cool. Okay. Okay. Fine. So if I comment this out and I create car two using this, we should see copy constructor used first, and then we'll see assignment operator used. Okay. Copy constructor used, overloaded assignment operator used. Audi A4 2000, Audi A4 2000, enter, no crash. Boom, bada, bing, perfect, no problems. All right, no problems. Now we're gonna create. Now we're gonna create another car. Car, car three equals. Car three is a Toyota. CHR, which is my car, and then uh, it has like 50,000 horsepower because we're so cool. And now that's car three, all right. So I'm just gonna copy paste it here car three, car three. I'm just gonna run this and I'm gonna make sure that that constructor works. Toyota CHR, perfect. Now say that I want car one to become car three with the assignment operator that should work as well the first car should be a toyota chr audi a4 boom so all the assignment operators everything is working everything seems fine so that's how we overload operators and the name says it all we're overloading them meaning that they're already loaded we're just creating our own definitions of them we're telling c++ how we want it done we don't want the c++ default uh, shit right because it's really important only when you're using the dynamic memory okay dynamic dynamic memory remember that it's very 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 important 
All right. Now, how much time do I have left? All right, 10 minutes is perfect. So that's it. That's it. And remember what dynamic memory is. Again, it's when you use new to allocate dynamic memory. Okay. That's very, very important. That's very important. And when you delete something that is of dynamic memory, then it needs to have its own copy in the class object. You can't be using the same thing and deleting it three times. It's going to crash because you can't delete something three times. If you're pointing to the same cake, if you eat that cake, it's gone. All right. But we three people, we need our three separate cakes, even though they look identical. They're three separate cakes. Okay. That's how it is. That's how it is. So I hope you learned something in this, in these video series. And, and I hope, hope it's been cool. We're going to keep working on operators soon. And after that, we're going to create a nice dynamic array class, like a vector. We're going to create our own vector class where you can add objects. You can remove objects. You can do it. It's kind of be like our, our final assignment type thing. Okay. With templates and, and all that stuff. And then we're going to use uh, polymorphism and, and inheritance, stuff like that is coming. All right. But this is very important. Make sure you know how to create these two things um, just by memory. Just remember those and understand what they do. And I promise you, it's going to help you out a lot. And you're going to miss, you're not going to, you're not going to get random crashes and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with it. Um, really proud of all of you. And I really appreciate all of your support. Uh, and all the comments and all the nice things you guys say and I really hope you like this the content You know if you don't I'm sorry. I really am there are a bunch of people that make great videos on YouTube I hope you find someone you can learn from but uh, if I'm that guy, you know, thank you so much I really really appreciate it and just keep working hard You know, I just want you guys to learn so take care check out the description box all the links hope I see you on discord uh, Also drop a like subscribe if you like the content and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye